I feel like we're starting to get a little bit closer to, I think what they call convention crunch time. I'm super happy that the ball gown is finished. However, we do have a few more pieces left to sew. You might remember that we have an event that's the ball, but then also something planned in the daytime. So it would be nice to have a day bodice. Something that is sometimes done or was sometimes done in the 1840s is you would have one skirt and then you'd have an evening bodice and then you'd have a day bodice. Is sewing four dresses in a week kind of clickbait for this? Kind of. I'm truly sewing one skirt and three bodices. So I can technically make four outfits from it. Well, no, three outfits from it. I'll have four outfits in total when I'm done with this week's of sewing. Another question you might have is, why am I sewing three bodices today? Well, I'm not going to this event by myself. I'm going with my mom. She needs me to make the outfits for her. So I'm gonna be making her evening bodice, her day bodice, and her skirt this week. Is this a terrible idea? Probably. Can we do it though? Hopefully. This is this is a terrible idea. Please don't imitate this. This is this is a terrible idea. But we we're going to get it done because we have to get it done. Before I get more into it, I've chosen this blue silk taffeta for my mom. So enough chatting. Let's get right to the sewing. I have had too much caffeine. Can you tell? <laughs> As you can probably guess, filming and creating three bodices and a skirt in a week was pretty chaotic. And so I accidentally left out explaining exactly what I was making. So I thought that we should go over that first. You might remember this sketch from my project overview, but just as a refresher, here is the plan for my gown's day bodice. And next we'll be going over the plan for my mom's day bodice and her skirt. Her skirts are also gonna be just large rectangles gathered to fit at the waist but her day bodice is going to be a very typical 1840s fan front piece with long sleeves and a slight pointed v-neck at the front with a chemisette potentially to fill out the neckline. Next, I want to talk about my mom's evening bodice. It's going to have kind of a similar feel to my evening bodice, but a few differences. She's not going to have puffy sleeves. She'll have straight short sleeves. I'm going to try to raise the neckline a little bit and her Bertha will be one that isn't an applied Bertha, but it's one that can be a attached or detached. So it's kind of just pinned or tacked lightly on. So now that you know the plan, let's cut right back to the admittedly slightly chaotic footage of me making all of these different pieces. I did make a day bodice mock-up. I got to stand with good posture in this one. Seeing that that fit me okay, I decided to cut out the pieces in the cotton drill, which again, I'm gonna use for the underlining. You might've noticed this on the ball gown mock-up as well. I'm using the drill for the bodice pieces and then a lighter cotton for the sleeves, just to give myself a little bit more flexibility in my arms. Okay, it is all pinned together now, and you might also notice that I'm missing a little bit of volume up at the top. And once again, I think what I'm gonna do is add padding through here to kind of pad it out and be nice and round. Overall, I'm very happy with how this bodice fits. We're just gonna go ahead with this as my day bodice. As I worked on all these different pieces, pretty helter-skelter, I decided to help everyone out and keep in the lower left-hand corner the label of what exact piece for whose dress I'm working on in that particular footage. I hope that helps keep it a little bit more clear. We are, I think, two weeks out from when I leave. Although I will say I'm using Claude's method of doing like good, better, best. So the good would be if uh, me and my travel companion, we show up to the ball wearing clothes. So not just our undergarments. <laughs> Am I doing okay? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Let me show you. So this is the full list step by step. So we have sew darts on my day bodice, shoulder seams on my day bodice, my travel companion's evening bodice, and her day bodice, hands on the neckline on the day bodice, pleat, sew down, boning, cut out, sew skirt, skirt seam, pipe and pin, sew padding, closure, pleats, skirt. We've got to at least lay it out because I was starting to get a little confused. The thing is when you're sewing all these different things all at once, I was getting a little confused. Let's get down to sewing because we really, we got to make some progress today. <laughs> the Nutella. Yeah, let's go.
excuse this mess. I tend to pick up my face when I get a little stressed. As you just saw, I crossed out, I've crossed out a good amount of things on my list. It's currently 5.45. I feel like I made really good progress for only starting at about noon. Before I move on to the skirts, I do want to do the boning first, but it's becoming a little bit close to when Joanne's closes. I ran out of cotton for the lining. So I'm gonna go run to Joanne's right now. I am actually quite pleased with the progress. I've gotten three bodices today to the point where all of the seams are sewn from the so fronts, sides, and shoulders. The last things that need to happen on the bodices are boning them, adding piping, and setting in the sleeves. I, I do really want to do those things today. So I'm gonna go run out to Joanne's and get something to eat and I will see you again for boning, piping, and some sleeps. <laughs> Cross your fingers for me, please. Okay, hello, I am back from the run out. I have a full stomach, thank goodness. I was really hungry, I didn't realize it. Thought that actually, I talked about my bodices and what state they were in, but I haven't shown you. So here are the three bodices. First one's first. This is the evening gown for my mom's, and this is the bodice. She's gonna have a Bertha that goes over top of this and uh, short sleeves that need to be set in. The day bodice for my mom is looking like this. This was, this took the longest to do the gathering and the pleating and then these seams. <laughs> they took a while, but I think it all turned out actually better than I was expecting. So I'm super happy with that. Here is my day bodice. This is the only bodice out of all of the ones that I have made that is a front closing bodice is my day bodice. Now that we're back, it's time to work on the rest of this list. So let's do the boning of everything. about 1 30 in the morning now and i think i'm gonna call it an evening so here is the day bodice in its current state um, the piping is sewn on to the bottom and the back shoulders the front is done so really all this needs is well number one probably a good steaming the sleeves to be set in here and then i did have to open up this neckline again just to do a little bit of the other sewing. So I need to hand sew that in place. So this is not too bad. Oh, and not to forget the back closure, which can take a bit of time as I found out on my evening bodice. And here's the current state of the evening bodice. For this one, I need to do the sleeves and the back closure as well as the uh, non-applied Bertha, so the pinned on Bertha. I like how this is looking so far. It doesn't look very complicated, um, but I did spend a lot of time making sure that this structure worked out well. Sleeves will be tomorrow, Bertha I think I'll be working on tomorrow, and the back closure. The last thing, which is a little harder to see, is my day bodice. It is a front closing bodice, but I've pinned on the piping, uh, so that needs to be sewn in place tomorrow. I do need to add the sleeves together with the mantrons and the closure across the front, and then that is where I leave you tonight. I was hoping to get a few more things done, but I did leave out uh, what I realized in my steps is the hand sewing down of the piping in the back, which takes quite a while. I will see you in the morning for, what was I saying? The rest of the piping on my day bodice, the sleeves on all the bodices, and the Bertha on my mom's evening gown. And hopefully, hopefully we can get to the closures as well. After that, it's just the skirt left for my mom.
Good day, everyone. I was gonna say good morning, but it is most definitely not morning anymore. So I think what I'm gonna do today, first off is sew the piping around the bottom of my day bodice. Okay, so the piping is done. Now we're going to move on to the sleeves. Nice thing is, is up until the sewing, I can basically do everything all together. All of the pressing of all the different, of the three bodice sleeves together, I can do the pinning of the three bodice sleeves together, but I do have to change my thread between my bodice and my mom's bodices. It's not so bad on the chain stitch machine because I don't have to change a bod bobbin, I just have to change the thread because it's a chain stitch machine. I could potentially set up my modern sewing machine that I have to do maybe my bodice, but I just like mine better. And I'm also using antique sewing needles on the machine. I have a I have a pack of like 150 original antique Wilcox and Gibbs sewing needles. And this is the, actually this is the only one I've ever used. So I, I took out one previously to sew with and it's specifically a silk needle. I do change it like if I'm not sewing on something so fine and delicate. So this has just been over the last year on anything like very delicate, but it's so, so tiny. It's hard for me to fully explain it. Like the eye of the needle, I can barely fit the thread through. That's how tiny it is. Okay, can you see me? A bit dark, but I think I'm all right. Status update, we have the sleeves fully attached to my mom's day bodice. They just need a hem at the bottom. We have the sleeves attached to the evening gown. Here's my day bodice. You can see we have the mancherons attached here. The attaching went fine, except for the under portion. I just really couldn't get it through the machine. So I'm gonna be doing that by hand. What really needs to happen with the bodices after that is the closures. I, I don't know that I want to do the closures directly next. I think what I want to do more directly next actually is the skirt, my mom's skirt. Do that after I finish hand stitching the sleeves. It's also time for dinner. Others, is it time for dinner? <laughs> You can see the skirt in the background there. I have been working on that for the past little bit. Um, it's all cut out. The silk is cut out, the lining is cut out. It's sewn together. I think the next step is that I have to sew the lining to the fashion fabric together at the top. Also already have the waistband uh, ready. It's currently 10 o'clock and the last few days, over the last like two weeks, I've been usually working until about one. So I have about three working hours left in me. My energy just went on empty suddenly. Oh my gosh, I felt lightheaded. Rest, maybe drink some water. I don't think I've hydrated enough. Maybe you're crafting while you're watching this or sewing or doing something and just check yourself. Have you had enough water? How's your posture? I don't know, maybe let's go grab a glass of water together. I feel so much better after that break. We're now at 11, so I have probably like two more hours in me of work that I can do. In between of making myself food, because I had to wait for it to cook and cool down, I also did a little bit more work on the skirt panels. So you can maybe see that down here. They look a little neater because now it is laid out for me to do the pleating. So we're gonna see how far we can get and you'll probably be put into time-lapse mode <laughs> while I cartridge pleat some of this skirt. So it is 
is quite a while later. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. So let me look at the items that I had on this list. Let's see what we can cross out. So we cut all of that out, Ooh, making very wavy lines. So we are, we are close to crossing everything off of this list. I do think that I'm gonna make a new one for tomorrow because I think tomorrow could be, if we if we can do it, it could be the last day of sewing on all of this. Where did I get to? I think it's close to two in the morning. Google won't answer me. Google never listens to me. Hey Google, what time is it? I don't know why. Only my other half. If I ask Google anything, it won't answer. He has to say it again and then Google will talk. So frustrating. <laughs> anyway, I did manage to cartridge pleat everything. What's left on this skirt is uh, hand sewing the skirt in place because you have to hand sew cartridge pleats to the waist. You don't want to crush them with a sewing machine. I do want to go to bed, but what I've been noticing the last few nights is that if I go straight from sewing to bed, even if I'm dead tired, my mind is going to be just churning over the things that I worked on and the things that I have to do. I have instead decided to make myself a nice hot cup of tea and I kind of dimmed the light. I don't, you probably can't tell, but I dimmed all the lights and I'm just gonna do an easy task, like the hand sewing. I think it'll make me feel better, like I'm making progress. First, I'm going to write up like in explicit detail all of the steps that I would like to do tomorrow. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of hand sewing until I feel tired. So I guess I'm just gonna do this and I will see you in the morning. Hopefully for our last day of sewing on this. Oh my God, and then maybe, maybe we can clean my apartment because it's a nightmare. <laughs> Anytime I sew, my whole place turns into just an absolute nightmare. Another day, another day of sewing ahead of us. Uh, so for this morning, I actually finished off this waistband. We have sewn the waistband to the panels and we have finished the waistband. If I wanna continue with the skirt, then I would add back closure. I think for the moment, I'm gonna call the skirt okay. And we're gonna move on to the evening bodices. For the evening bodice, what I really want to do is the Bertha. What I should do first is add the closure. Now, I my mom doesn't live close enough uh, where I can just pop over there and do a fitting on her. It's either a flight or a full day of driving if you're really willing to drive a lot for one day. So we mailed back and forth mock-ups and like, I had my dad draw on the back where the closure should be. So for that closure, I think I'm gonna sew down the left side where the line is and I'm gonna tack the right side in place. And then I'm meeting up with her before our trip for like a day before we leave all the way to the UK. And I think I'm just gonna test fit her then. And if that's right, then I'm just gonna sew that other side down permanently. Maybe some more coffee first though, because I'm feeling a little like, I feel like I look more and more disheveled <laughs> as this video goes on. And it's kind of true. It's kind of how I feel. <laughs> but I have managed to finish adding the closures to the back of the bodice. And I just tacked this one in place. What's left on this bodice? Let's look. The hem the sleeves and the bertha. So I think what we're gonna do next is add the bertha. Quite a bit of back and forth. I think I have decided that this is how I want the Bertha to look. The lace at the moment is just pinned in place. Ideally, I would go and hand stitch this down, but my fingers are so shot. I think I'm gonna have to do like a overstitch. No, that doesn't make sense. But a stitch on the outside 
that'll be visible. Let's go stitch that down. My mom's evening bodice, she is complete. If I had enough lace, I think I would have also trimmed the arms with that lace, but unfortunately I didn't have quite enough. Let's see what we can cross off the list. So I've got the book here. So for my mom, we did the Bertha lining, the Bertha out of fashion fabric. I hemmed the sleeves, I added the lace, and the padding is not necessary. So oh my gosh, my mom's evening bodice can be crossed off. Okay, so now to my mom's day bodice. And I have that laying right here actually, I've already started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the back closure. And then with the bottom hem, which is the next step. So I just kind of sewed this in place and it was it's fine. It was kind of what I did on my day bodice as well. Between these two spots, I'm just gonna sew this down. And I'm also thinking that with this one, I'm going to add a bone maybe up the center front or something just so that the cartridge pleating doesn't collapse. And what else do I need to do? Hem the sleeves. I really, really like it. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see it in this light, but I still have some of the fray check stains on here. So maybe I'll have to get rid of that and find a way to clean it with the alcohol. And then of course, go through and snip the loose ends. So I'm just gonna take a look at my day bodice now and just kind of wrap my head around how much work I have left for that. So I know how much time potentially I need to spend on that tomorrow. And I guess I will see you on the morning for, is it day five? Yeah, day five of sewing on these. Okay, good morning. I am going to try to make this my last day of sewing on all of these outfits. The good news is that we have already made fantastic progress. So I, this morning, worked on the front closure of this day bodice for myself, which I think was really the most involved step, and I'm really liking how that's looking. And now it's really important, I need to fill out and pad out this area. And it was actually um, semi-common in period garments to have padding here to kind of fill out that area, and I think it'll help with the wrinkles. I did end up going with the hooks and eye closures because I didn't want to put strain on the buttons, but I am going to make my own buttons out of the fabric of this dress. Buttons, padding, hem the sleeves. three o'clock on my fifth day of sewing and I can say officially that the last bodice is done. Let's look at the list and see where we are. The day bodice front closure is done. Buttons are on, sleeves are hemmed, padding is added. So the day bodices are complete. Next would be are skirts. I need to add back closures to both of them. I'm gonna have my skirt now and my mom's skirt when we get to her place before the trip because she has a sewing machine that can do hemming. And then the last thing that we need to do is to attach hooks and bars to attach the bodices to the skirts because I made my bodices and skirts separately. I do want them to attach to each other so you don't have any gap at the waist. I think I'm gonna start with my skirt actually because I have my undergarments on. I'm wearing it. And I'm just kind of twirling with it on. And one of the things that I'm realizing is the skirt has so much inertia. I wouldn't call it heavy, but when I twirl in a direction, I can feel that it wants to like continue moving. It's just a sensation that I've never had with other clothes before. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm gonna hem this. I don't have, my shoes are at my parents' place. I know I have about a half inch heel on those, so my plan is to hem this to like skim the floor, basically. How the heck am I gonna do this? I think it's gonna take a lot of uh, pinning, step back and check. Pin, step back and check. Pin, step back and check. It's like an hour later. I think I have the hem where I want it. I have a 0.75 inch heel. It's not really a heel, but it has that height in the sole. And I don't have any shoes of mine that are the right height. So the only ones that I could find are 
<laughs> oh wait, you tell you want to come under my skirts? Yeah. I'm rocking my other half's lovely work shoes. The only issue is I'm tall. I probably said this before, but I'm 5'9", and that means that I didn't realize it, but I only have like three quarters of an inch on the silk to turn over as a hem. Typically you'd have like a really nice wide hem. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab myself some of the cotton that I had for the lining and cut myself that three inch strip. Sew that right sides together all the way along the bottom of the skirt and then turn the hem. So it's almost like a hem tape, but three inches wide and four and a half, almost four and a half yards long. The last step after the hem is to add the hooks and bars to hook my bodice to my skirt. I think I'm gonna have to call it for today. It's past two in the morning. I have been up since eight and working on it intermittently, although admittedly I've been really slow today. Let me show you where I got to. I did fully hem my skirt. I added the bodice hooks. I was just sewing on that now. I'll have sewn four Victorian dresses in a week. Technically a skirt and three bodices. <laughs> so four Victorian pieces of a dress in a week. So I guess three dresses if you think of like Let's not get lost in the details. Um, and then the last thing, if I have some time, is considering swapping out the lace. So I don't know if you can see, but this lace really kind of sticks out versus in the inspiration, it seemed more like it was glancing over Ada's, like down her elbow and around her arm. Other than that though, my entire set of skirt day bodice and evening bodice is finished. So as you may have realized, much of that filming, including the introduction and everything, was filmed before we left on our trip to the UK and the ball. I'm back home now. We had the ball, we had the event, it was amazing. But I just wanted to pop on and just do a little bit of a wrap up of this video because I was in just full chaos sewing mode. Like I just said, I did manage to finish all four pieces in one week. I was super happy with it. They turned out really, really well. I I will just show you a little bit of a sneak preview of how they all turned out. So this is me and my mom in our evening gowns. I realized I didn't get a very good picture of my mom in her day dress, but this is her at brunch in her day dress. And then this is me walking outside with my day dress on. This is not the last time that you will see all of these dresses. I am going to be showing them in the final reveals. I'll be doing getting dressed and getting ready. So you'll see much more detail of them. And, but I did just wanna give you like a little bit of a hint of what we worked on for this entire week. However, there are so many more videos coming out. This is just the base layer. I'm gonna be doing so many more fiber crafts. So please feel free to stay tuned. If you like this, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. We will be knitting stockings, making crochet purses, knitting a shawl, knitting a polka, which is a very early form of a cardigan. So we're going to be doing so much more fiber crafts. Oh, before you go though, I just wanted to pop this little clip in there because I talked so much about hemming the skirts and wanting it to be right. We went to the dance rehearsal in the afternoon before the ball and I realized that our skirts were way too long. I don't know what happened, but they were like an inch and a half, two inches too long. So I sat there for three hours just whipping the skirt hems up a little bit <laughs> so that my mom and I wouldn't be tripping over them all night. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you you all next time. Bye!